All right, so I want to do two different things here. I, I set off to do one, and once I figured that out, I just, which was um, to create chapter marks and label them. And then after I did that, I decided I wanted to do a split of each chapter. Why is that? Well, because this file actually consists of four different movies within one file. Uh, so the first uh, thing that I tried was going into output over here and um, I went up to the website for the help file and found this chapter editor and and that and I thought it was as easy as just creating a text file as you see right here and because I chose the easy option right here and I literally just copied and pasted this into a text editor. I uh, used VLC to figure out where each movie, the exact uh, place, the minute and second where it started. And so this is the format. Did that, saved it as TXT file, also tried the uh, OGM file format. Um, didn't work. And so I went to plan B. Uh, so plan B was to go over here into the chapter editor. I decided to do new, okay, and um, my first attempt, uh, let's get this out of the way, so my first attempt was just to go in here and simply add chapters right here, so I just copied and pasted just like, oops, just like this, uh, that one starts at zero, it's the first chapter, uh, added another one, click on that, uh, give put that name in here. This one was going to start at 2426. And so how did I get, you know, so I, I got these marks from the VLC, as I mentioned before, um, where they each started. Um, and so I added that one. There's kind of a refresh issue going on here. Uh, I noticed too sometimes. So anyways, um, it may pop up again. So I started doing this and put them all in there and went to process the file and it didn't work. <laughs> so it just completely bombed. It wouldn't even process. So uh, I gave up on, on this and then I noticed over here it actually said edition slash chapter. I'm going, oh. So if I go over here and delete these, and by the way, if I delete them all and there's no entry here, you, you can't really do anything. Um, I discovered. I can't click over here. I'm locked. So I've got to have an entry over here that exists. Um, and so we're just going to copy the first one. There we go. All right. And then this one's going to start at zero. So it didn't default to zero up here because it remembered what I had in there, had typed in there uh, last. So um, in the manual, uh, online uh, manual, it actually describes. Uh, you know the format of uh, of the time uh, can't remember where that's at but you can find it uh, this is the website right here alrighty so we go over here that's the first chapter now I couldn't find a plus button anywhere to like create to save to do whatever you know it, it didn't there we go there's the refresh issue um, doesn't show up over here so it was really puzzling kind of confusing until I hit the right click and then I chose add new chapter after and then when I click on that you can see now this finally refreshes and updates so now we're gonna grab the next chapter name okay and we're gonna paste that down in here and then our time our start time for this is 24 26 24 minutes 26 seconds okay oh, can't type here Alrighty, uh, and there's no add button. I wasn't, you know, you just kind of continue. So if I clicked here, you can see it refreshes now if you click off of it and back onto it. And then you just continue adding all of your chapters. So add new chapter uh, after. And so click on the chapter. I'll copy and paste chapter name back in. This one is going to start at 3717.
Alrighty, and then we're going to have one more. And this is the last one. Alright, so we paste that here, and this is going to end at 49.32. And then we'll refresh it by clicking off of it. All right, so I've got my four chapters. So then I tried to process the file and it didn't work. Why? Well, because I'm creating a chapter file, but I never saved it. Okay, so you go over here and you click save. Uh, but save, nothing happens. You have to do save as XML. So we'll do save as XML. We'll call this chapters. It's automatically going to give it a file extension, XML. It's defaulting to the folder that I'm working in. And I click Save. And so now you can see it actually has a name up here. And here's what the uh, Chapters XML looks like, completed product. So obviously you could go in here once you have the file and you could edit it right from here and then just uh, reselect this file and bring it into the program for processing. So, you know, there's the chapter name, uh, there's the minutes where to start. So it's pretty self-explanatory what English to use, country. This, uh, these ID numbers are generated by the program. It, uh, as far as I know, we're not supposed to mess with that. Just let the program generate its own. Okay. So now the last step is I, I went to process this and it didn't it didn't work and that's because back to plan A over here go to output you actually have to select that chapter file and so there's the chapter file open and you can see it over here and so we're done now it's going to default to the same name as I had before because that's the way I have the program set up it'll append a, a one in parentheses so I'm going to go ahead and and start the muxing and you can see it's actually processing down here. Don't worry about the warning. I, that's because some other things I was doing uh, uh, before this. It doesn't apply to the current process here. All right, so if I drag this over, you can see, whoop, wonderful windows. There we go. And so it created the other file. It's the same size. We'll go ahead and open that up in VLC. And if I hover over it, there's the first chapter mark. We're going to go ahead and mute it. And if I hover over the second one, so you can see they're all clearly labeled. If I click on the next chapter mark, you can see it keeps switching to the chapters. So we're going to kill this because I don't want to uh, flagged it on YouTube for showing um, copy protected content basically. Alrighty, so finally got my chapters into the file. It, it even, it's got the, of course, the subtitles are there and that. So the next thing I wanted to do is to split this. So we're going to go to chapter, what was it in? Uh, uh, output. Oh, I have to grab the file again. <laughs> So we're going to go to my job queue over here. We'll right click, we'll edit, and there, there we are. And then we'll go to output. So to split this at the chapter points, you just click split mode, and then you go before chapters. Now I tried doing it just like this and it didn't work, and that's because you have to actually put the chapter numbers in here, okay? So I want chapters, and default is one, so that will automatically be there. So you don't have to list that. So it's two comma three comma four. And then I'm not sure if this was uh, important to do, but I increased this to four as well. Don't know what Unlimited might have done. Uh, and then down here, let's just save this. Uh, let's call this uh, with chapters, CP. We'll put a CP right there. Oop. I didn't want it there though, I want it right there. 
Uh, so use this uh, chapter file just like before, but this time we're going to split it into four different chapters uh, or four different files, one for each chapter. So let's go ahead and start the MUX. And uh, I'll pause uh, this and come back when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished. You can see down here. So if we go to Explore, you can see that it has created four different files. And so if we go ahead and run each one. Now remember, the first one was how many minutes? Let's see. The first one was an hour and two minutes, 44 seconds. So let's try running now that it's been split and you can see it's 24 minutes and it's working. And then we'll go to the next one. You'll see that this one is 12 minutes. And so there, the point is that it split them just perfectly, changed the name, just called them chapter one, two, three, and four. So now I've actually got five different files, right? I have one file with, so I have the original file, so with uh, no chapter marks. I've got this one here with chapters, and then these four here that have split this uh, single movie file into four separate movies. Please keep in mind that I'm not an expert on this program. I stumbled through it, just figured I'd uh, make a video for myself for the next time I need to do it so I could remember and also at the same time share with the community in hopes I can help somebody else. Thank you and have a great day, everybody.